Good morning, Motor Cars. Today is September 9th, and I hope we all had a great weekend. We sure did. The weather was fantastic. Anyway, uh, Susan came up with a suggestion. She was wondering if employees could do the word of the day, and I told Susan that I prefer not to at this point in time because we just changed our format to having the managers do uh, one of the word of the days uh, every other week. And the reason for that is, again, that the managers can talk about things they want to get across to the rest of the employees about their department, things going on in their departments, and things that we need to work on. So uh, we'd like to stick with that format. But if anybody would like to go on the Word of the Day, I'm sure that if you asked your manager if you could use um, a few minutes on their, week, on their day, they'd be glad to let you. This day in history. 1776, the Second Continental Congress changed the name of the nation to the United States of America from the United Colonies. 1850, California became the 31st state. 1956, Elvis Presley appeared on television for the first time on The Ed Sullivan Show. Online reviews. Here are a few best practices that can help get online reviews. One, create a culture within our store that emphasizes good customer service to encourage positive reviews. Turn our customers into raving fans. You know, there's nothing like good service to get good reviews. If you don't have good service, we're never going to have good reviews. Two, ask for reviews. Fill the time for solicitating, solicitating reviews into our sales process. Have sales consultants talk to customers about writing a review while they are still at the dealership. Most customers are willing to do this when asked directly, but might not take the time without being prompted. Make it easy for a customer to write and post reviews by sending them links via iPad while they are waiting for F&I in the delivery. When they are still excited about their new car, an iPad, iPad selling system that provides links directly to most popular review sites such as Google, Dealer Rater, and Yelp provides quick access and can improve our iPad con, uh, conflict issues. Four, monitor the, what people are saying and respond to all reviews. Thank the customer for providing positive feedback and address negative concerns politely to let the customers know that their feedback is heard and valued. Then quickly handle it uh, offline though. Upcoming events. Mike Zimbala and Justin Horton from Stratus Wealth Partners will be here Tuesday the 10th at 9 o'clock to have individual meetings with anyone interested in regarding the, their 401k investment. The meetings will take place in the Toyota Conference Room. Whoever is interested, see Debbie so she can assign a time slot for, for your meeting to ensure that no one is missed. And this is this is kind of scary to think the year has gone so fast, but it's almost time for the Halloween party. It's going to be on October 24th, so our Halloween party and clam bake will be October 24th. So start thinking about your con, uh, what costumes you're going to wear, because we're going to have a great time, and we'll also have some great prizes. To reach our retention goal, we have to keep improving on the basics. We have to improve relentlessly. We must innovate and improve where we can realize the greatest return on our efforts. Get better at the things that create the greatest value for our customers. We should constantly innovate and improve on those three or four things that matter the most. If we do that, we will be continually evolving and we will be leaving our competitors in the dust. This is why for the next two months we are going to be working on service write-up, service pickup procedures, and the new car delivery. Because until we can do these better than everyone else, we will never reach our retention goal. Hero of the day is George Ann. George Ann had a customer that came into service for some work done on their extended service contract, but they didn't have the $100 deductible. And so George Ann went to Kevin, the used car manager, because it was a used car, and got the used car department to pay $25. Then she told the customer that she would pay the other $75 if the customer agreed to bring her fifty bring fifty dollars back to her, and to take the other twenty five dollars and use it and pay it forward and do something special for somebody else. Well, George Ann did it, and the customer did do what they said they would do. They came back, they gave George Ann the fifty dollars and a little card that said, "Thank you for being our angel. Have a great day." To reach our retention goals, we have to use what we have learned in the fish book and transfer those experiences to our organization. George Ann took Make Their Day from the Fish Book, then used our $200 empowerment policy, and she did what we have been talking about and created a wow experience and turned a customer into a raving fan. 
George Ann, not only are you going to get the $2 bill for being the hero of the day, but also I'm also going to give you your $25 back. Great job. And everybody, you know, look for those opportunities where you can do something. That's why we do the $200 empowerment, because we want to tie people into us like George Ann did. And it's always best if you can tie them into you and not the dealership, because, it, you know, when you do it as an individual, it means a lot more. But again, great job, George Ann, and everybody keep looking for those opportunities and let me know when something happens. Anyway, everybody just have a great day. Thank you.